Okay. We're back. And today we continue our march for the glory of the God Emperor. So, where do we live off? Oh yeah, Lair of the Giants. Working with that Inquisitor dude who I don't trust as far as I could hurl him down a flight of stairs. But we'll get to that. <clears throat> Locate Inquisitor, Inquisitor Drogon within the massive Titan fan Manufactorum. Before the orcs do. I think I already did that, actually, but... Okay, then. Alright, so fully loaded, fully armed, fully prepared. Alright, we're good. Let's get let's get to work here. Xenos life force detected. You're trying to steal my titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out your throat! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a guy who completely lacks any sense of subtlety, but you know, give him credit for at least stating his mind. Like, seriously, boys. Oh. Like, yeah, sure, whatever. Good luck with that. Ah, bummer. He ran away. There we go. Well, looks like the big guy ran away, I guess, so I guess we're going to have to go hunt him down later. <laughs> oh, I suppose that'll work. <laughs> okay, I was expecting a little bit more of a fight out of those dudes, but I guess not. <laughs> Alright, time to load up my weapons. Uh, I don't know, do I want to make a run for that ammo? Not really. Off with his head. And probably some other body parts. There we go. Alright, now we can leave. What? Can't leave until I kill everything in the area? Fine. I'll kill everything and come back. Bunch of lazy shiters. Damnable creature. Had he not blown the world. But he did, Drogon. Ooh, new toy. Yay, new toy, new toy. Space Marine recognized. Yes. Plasma pistol. Remember the big plasma gun a few episodes back? Well, yeah. guess what? We must get to that. I got one. I got one here. Pocket sized. Love the plasma pistol. It's a permanent upgrade, so you actually get to keep it throughout the rest of the game, which is great. <coughs> The only other downside to it is that it, it doesn't have the rapid fire that the bolter does, but it packs way more of a punch. Ah, Mad Mech. My boys want to give you a proper greeting. They're sort of like the technically proficient orcs. They have access to magic and weaponry that you know regular orcs do not. You freaking <laughs> Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's freaking dead. Oh, what a pussy. Oh, I was expecting a bit more than that. <laughs> Alright, now that's more like it. Uh, 
I borrow your shield. Ooh. See, I gave it right back. I mean, I wasn't gonna keep it. Just need to borrow it for a second. There's the lift. Now can we get out of here? All aboard. I'm so tempted to shoot you in the face. So tempted. But didn't need you alive. Frickin' Inquisition. Bunch of psychos. You know, if you're familiar with the Warhammer 40 universe, you probably understand why I don't trust the Inquisition, but... Let's just say that they make, you know, the Witch Hunts of Salem or, you know, the Spanish Inquisition look pale by comparison. Far deeper. The whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended? Yes. In case of catastrophic overload... The whole room can be shunted away into the depths. Wow. So if something goes wrong with this piece of technology, we can just drop the entire room down a flight of stairs, apparently. Or something equivalent. So, yeah. There's that. Freaking cold. Apparently whatever this thing is, is it freezes everything in the area. That's okay. I don't mind. Cool, don't bother me. Especially not in that armor, I bet. It's like, is he's like, I'm wearing an armor suit. I probably don't notice that's cold because it's like, yeah, this thing weighs nine tons and keeps me warm. I'm happy. Only obtain the power source at the core of the generator. See here, you could actually swap your. Uh, here, you could actually swap your power axe for a chainsword if you wanted, but Brother, for the moment, I'm sticking with this. Points. I have engaged. You must keep the chamber secure until the power source is exposed. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Order Xenon. Alright, fully armed. Let's load up. There. The primary shield is open, Captain. Head into the central chamber. Alarm. Xenos detected. Uh-oh. That's not good. Captain, the war boss. Thanks, Marine! What are you hiding down here? Oh, whatever it is, I want it! Oh, don't get it, away. Hold back the green skins, Captain. The power source will be free of the generator shortly. Alright, and... Off oh, with your head. You, you mother... Taking you down too. Come here. <laughs> I killed him so hard he went through reality. <laughs> You punk, you knock it off with the missiles. You can't run from me, Space Marine! <laughs> and I'm not the one who keeps running away every time I get close, you jackass. Activated. It will retrieve the power source and get it into its canister. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> Out of my way! What you want, Spice Marine? Then I'll take it for myself. God damn it! I'm working on it, damn it. Sort of occupied here. Fucking forks. Alright, so. Oh. 
Well, that was... You know, I've got this sinking feeling that that probably wasn't a good thing, was it? I mean, whatever it was, it didn't look good, that's for sure. So I'm underground, apparently, now. Respond. Captain! The Inquisitor insisted you could not have survived. Well, I did. And I have his precious power source. We set a rendezvous in Hap Center Andris. These tunnels will spit us out there eventually. Fine. Continue heading toward the Hab Center. Okay, so I'm underground now. <clears throat> so I'm guessing that... They all assumed I was dead after I went after that thing. Ah! Ooh, ammo and grenades, good. Alright, so I've got full rage, full health, and full weapons. I'm guessing I can handle this. Wow. Looks like the orcs been looting the crap balls out of stuff here, hasn't they? Huh. I wonder if they've been using these tunnels to get their crap everywhere. Freaking Knock it off, shooter boys. Yes. Come, come and meet your doom. So I'm gonna line you all up right next to the dozens and dozens of others I've killed already. Ooh. Well, probably waste of waste of ammo on that, but you know what? I don't care. Ooh, we got a rocket boy. Rocket boy! Trying to shoot me with rockets? I don't think so. Ah. I see the power axe just literally tears right through them because their armor is so, so weak. It's like the orcs, like I said, they fight with raw numbers and pure, brutal force. And the result is that, well, makes them individually very weak. But their sheer numbers make them a threat, especially if you get large groups of them. In the tabletop game, I've seen games where it's like 20 or 30, you know, Space Marine groups would be the equivalent of like 5,000 orc, you know, units. It's like, yikes. <laughs> you trying to shoot me with that little pea shooter? Ugh. Freaking retard. Whoa. Whoa! I did not see that one coming. Freaking Squigoth, or whatever the hell they are. Don't know what they are, don't care what they are. Ah! Figure. Figure he had a full clean shot in my back and he completely botched it. <laughs> So far, so good. 
Now I guess one by this point I'd have had the I'd have had like the the freaking shotgun weapon. Because there is a weapon in this game that acts like a shotgun, but it's actually the melta gun. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game actually, is how freaking overpowered it is. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Kill the Space Marines. Stomp. You don't tell me what to do. Come on, knobs. Yeah, whatever. Come here, gonna rip your freaking face off. Yeah, yeah, come on. Anyone else? No? Good. Uh, I must admit, I was kind of expecting a bit more of a fight, but, yeah, dead is dead. I'm still breathing, and they aren't. And that's what matters. Alright, and... Yeah, just about... Oh, crap, Squig! Squig, I saw Squig! Come on, show me your face. Oh, I can hear that stupid thing, too. Ha! Ah. Yeesh. Take your shield here. See? Makes a fantastic headstone. I mean, really. Of course, usually you don't include the head with the headstone, but hey, works for me. Ah, oh, here's the melt gun. Alright, now you get to see some fun. Ultramarines chapter. Access granted. This is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's a short-range weapon, but man, is it does it have a cool effect. It is a flame shotgun. Yeah, it is the perfect weapon for, like, crowd control because it is almost instantly fatal to everything short of one of the big guys. Smack! <laughs> Took his head clean off. Armor or no armor, you guys just are in the wrong league. Alright, so do I still have... Yes, I've got the melt gun. Yeah, biggest problem with the melt gun is its capacity, or lack thereof. In the game, it's actually used as an anti-tank weapon, but here he's got it set up as like a point-blank range shotgun, instantly fatal to its targets. I mean, yeah, it could probably still be used as an anti-tank weapon, you just have to get right next to a tank to use it, I suppose. Alright, so, I think we're about clear here. Or at least we're making progress. We're almost... Ah! Supplies, supplies. You can go ahead and run. It's not going to do you any good, but you can go ahead and run. I don't care. Spice Marines! 
<laughs> I would love to say that I'm disappointed, but truth be told, that was actually pretty easy. And the fact that they're running from me makes me smile, because it means they are afraid. Where's your boss now? I got something for him. Alright, well, yeah, that's about it, folks. I'm going to pause here for the time being, or at least when I get to the next checkpoint. Oh, yes, here we go. Alright, so, I'm going to call it quits here for the night. I'm going to continue this later, but basically, we now possess some of my favorite weapons. Weapons, upgraded purity seals, plenty of armor and equipment, and I'm more or less going to wreck the orc sh like nobody's business next time we get into this. Anyway, this has been the Mega Mac Cat, and I'm signing off. I will see you all next time as we continue our march in the name of the Emperor. <laughs>